Hi beautiful souls, welcome back to my channel wherever you are in the world today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. First time viewers, my name is Kathy. I'm an intuitive health coach. I'm a mentor and spiritual guide and coming in here again, today's big double messages carrying a bit of a punch and some weight. This one, leap, leap. You go first. The universe will catch you you go first. I feel for many of you, this is you right now. And literally, if you've got to take that leap, beautiful souls, you're, you're so being guided right now. For some of you who are hesitating, you know, just jump. You will be caught. And it came out with the most beautiful clarifier. Trust your path. Trust your path. And the little message says, if you knew you would be supported, what would you do? And I feel, I can see exactly why these have come out together, you know. So this new season, Beautiful Souls, that I've spoken about over and over and over and over again, the messages just keep coming out. It doesn't matter which cards that I'm going to, the clarifiers, the confirmations, it's the similar messages coming through. And this one, of course, as I just said before, Beautiful Souls, you know, this is probably a lot of you. Maybe some of you have just jumped in this last season or in these last couple of weeks, maybe you've had enough confirmation, you've had that intuitive nudge to just go for it, right? You will be caught. They're just showing me the full moon as well. So there's a, um, you know, there's just been a full moon. By the time you see these messages at the end of August, that, that energy will also be amplified over three to four days after the full moon. So maybe that is going to also be confirmation for one or some of you, or it could be around the next full moon. Um, but I feel for many of you, it's now. It's now. The time is now, beautiful souls. And of course, you know, trusting your path. The first thing that I saw and I was channeling was this solitary figure. There is not one other person in this picture, right? And, and this person, this figure has been through quite an obstacle course of different terrain, right? There's been water and steps and, you know, all kinds of things. And then here's the little path here being made. There's a way being made for you right now. And maybe this is the end point over here. You know, you don't have to know the whole path. You just have to take the next step. You just have to take a leap of faith and trust that God and the angels, your soul team, your ancestors, who, you know, your family upstairs, if you've got people that have passed over, which most of you obviously would have, of course, they are all lead guiding and directing you at this time you've just got to trust you've really just got to trust and lean in and really just jump off the cliff beautiful souls I, I write about this at the beginning of my book you know backing myself and going look you've obviously placed me here at this time you know with this with this big thing with this goliath in front of me but I trust you and I'm going to jump. And for many of you, as I write in my book, it's going to feel as though you're jumping without a parachute. You are in full faith and trust that God and the angels, your soul team, are going to catch you because they will. They absolutely will. Leap. Life bends for the courageous. Right? The universe wants to support you, but first you need to leap to throw your life up in the air. For many of you though, or for some of you that I'm picking up on, you may have had to take a massive leap of faith. Maybe you were pushed. Maybe you kind of got that little nudge on the edge of the cliff and they just kind of went boop and you've been free falling, but you've been trusting at the same time. Perhaps you know what you are being called to leap towards or away from. Maybe you've had to take a leap of faith away from safety or from the from the usual path, from people, places and things that were in your life that were no longer resonating with you, that didn't have your highest interests, your highest good, um, you know, in their hearts. Their time was done and it's time to move on. Um, or maybe perhaps you are waiting for a big fat sign <sighs> or instruction manual or permission to do so first. If this is you, then this is your sign and permission slip to take a deep breath and leap into the unknown. 
It's scary to let go of all that we know in hope for something new. And it's normal to feel anxious at the thought of letting go of what we know for sure, right? So this, you know, this is solid and stable. But look how barren it is, beautiful souls. There's not one tree. There's no flowers. There's no life in that anymore. It's dead. It's dead, done, and buried. It's done. That's the past. Um, but this is the unavoidable process of rising. And this is what many of you are doing in this season. And right now, this is how you are being called to live. Nature is constantly showing us how to live with courage. Fall comes every year and encourages the trees to loosen their grip. What a beautiful analogy that is. To allow what was once so full of life to completely fall away leaf by leaf. The branches are left bare without the comfort of, one, of what once was. But in the morning of spring, new shoots begin to appear. And something new is born that is even more glorious than before. And if you look at these two pictures side by side, beautiful souls, look at the light coming out of this one, right? You're on the right path, beautiful souls. Again, so many different ways that these messages come out, but you're on the right path. Just take that leap of faith. You've got to do it. Now is the time, you know, otherwise you'll begin to feel frustrated and stagnant. You might get a little bit resentful or a little bit, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Just kind of irritated. And that's your soul saying it's time to go on this new adventure. We've got everything mapped out for you. The path is already set out for you, beautiful souls. You don't have to see the whole thing, but you just have to keep moving forward. So the universe is conspiring. Keep facing your true north. Your job is not to pave the path, but to simply keep facing your true north and to take one step after another. If you do this, you cannot go wrong. The universe is conspiring. Don't waver or doubt. Use your heart as a compass and put one foot in front of the other. I just keep reiterating that. If you follow the invisible trail of what lights you up, you will light up the world without even trying. Most people don't follow the highest call of their soul because they are waiting to see the end destination before they take the first step. If you take one baby step each day within a year, you will have taken 365 steps in your dedicated direction. And again, what another beautiful analogy to, to think about beautiful souls. Every day, I just have to do one thing, just one thing to move the needle forward, <clears throat> to keep pressing forward, to keep moving on. Um, if you want to write a book, how many times have books come up in the last couple of weeks for those of you that have been watching me for a while? Write a page every day. So that is a clear and um, precise message for the writers out there. And I know that there's a couple of you, um, beautiful souls, because I've seen your comments over the last month, couple of months. If you want to change careers, do one thing every day in dedication to that. Before you know it, in just a year from now, you will turn back and look in awe at how far you have actually journeyed. Right? So starting point was over here. And look how far in a year you will have gone and progressed. Some of you will reach your destination or be very close to. But others of you are all on different paths. Remember, beautiful souls, take it as it resonates. Some of you are already up here. You took that leap of faith in the last season or in this last year. Um, keep moving. And open yourself up to a whole new level of support and receiving. Again, tying in with soul tribes. You're attracting the right people to you at this time. Destiny helpers, collaborations, opportunities, offers. Um, things are not going to work out the way you were planning. But if you have a little faith and keep showing up, they will work out even better than you could possibly imagine don't micromanage the universe. And I say that about God, obviously, and the angels first and foremost. You know, they know the right path, the right way, the right people at the right time. If you're coming up against, 
against block stops and distractions, beautiful souls. Sometimes it's because you've got to be rerouted or the next part of your journey isn't ready or the next destiny helper isn't there yet. So they've got to hold you back. Sometimes not every block stop and distraction is from the dark side. Sometimes it's actually from your soul team because they know, like I, again, as I write in my book about the Rubik's Cube, everything has to line up at the divine purpose perfect timing in the divine perfect way for the highest good of all um, trust your path and let your soul lead the way so beautiful souls if you haven't here is your sign your confirmation your you know hundred sign to take this leap of faith whatever it is that you have been intuitively nudged to do to act on to move to you know a new career your own entrepreneurship your own business your side hustle hustle your creativity whatever that is your books your music this is your sign you are going in the right direction trust your path you are being led in the right direction. So beautiful souls, if that has landed and resonated, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know exactly where you're at, you know, if that has been you, you know, hanging on to that last little pebble on the edge of the cliff face, you know, but here you're going to fly. You're going to fly, beautiful souls. Your path is lit, it's illuminated, it's already been set out in your destiny, in your soul blueprint. You cannot stuff it up. It's impossible. Okay, so beautiful souls, if that has resonated, as I always say, hit the little thumbs up button below. First time viewers, if you feel divinely led, hit the little notifications bell, subscribe to my channel, and I will see each and every one of you um, in here for the next one. Have the most amazing day. Go take that leap of faith. Bye for now.